Can we all just take a moment to admire this? Holy dragon tits, guys. This guy, Pierre, right here, is Town Hall 9 at 5,022 trophies. This guy has made Legends League at Town Hall 9 while I'm struggling my ass off trying to do it at Town Hall 11. This is absolutely insane. I, I don't even have words right now. Uh, for this guy's accomplishment. It is crazy. And uh, for today's video, we'll be checking this guy out. And we're actually just going to skip the intro. And then for the rest of the video, stare at this guy's base. So hope you guys enjoy. No, I'm just playing. But yeah, guys, this is Pierre at 5,022. This is one of the few Legends League Town Online players. Now, let's go check out some replays, some attacks from this guy, and defenses, hopefully, and see how did he get Legends League at Town Hall 9. So the first replay we got here is by Pierre on this Town Hall 11. Tony, uh, yes, guys, a Town Hall 9 legend going in on a Town Hall 11, which is pretty crazy because even I have failed on Town Hall 11s, and this 9 is going to come in and just do some work, making me look like a little bit of a bitch, but it's okay. So he's got the king and queen top of the base. Basically, what they're doing is taking out these two air defenses. This base is really, really weird. Um, I've attacked it on my main account with dragons as well, and it's pretty easy on the top of the base at least going in because there are no air defenses you have to worry about because your heroes take them both out, and then on the bottom, there's two air defenses right there that you can take out with balloons so this base is not a hard base to take out at all so the queen uh grab those air defenses and she'll go down in a second here use her special ability she'll grab a couple more percentage points and then he's gonna wait and then he's gonna go with the dragons in a second i'm not sure where he attacks from i haven't watched this replay yet um so this is my first time along with yours where's the dragon going in what are you doing in a man pierre what you gonna do boy what you gonna do mate where's the dragons boy well, they might. All right, so now the dragon's coming in on the right side of the base. He's got a couple balloons in. Basically, what the strategy is with this is uh, he puts the dragons in, distracts those archer towers, and then puts the uh, balloons in to grab those archer towers, take them down, and then basically make it easier for the dragons to grab extra percentage. So he's got the uh, right side of the base, and he's also coming from the left side. This isn't like a full-on attack from you know one side of the base like I do. Uh, this is very, very spread out, very uh, one-star orientated. So as you can see, he's got a ton of percentage down, um, and all of his dragons are down on the left side and one on the top as well and then he's at 43% so his dragons will almost grab that 50% just by themselves and then he'll have actually they kind of needed to grab the 50% considering he already threw his heroes down but he does have four lightning spells and two earthquakes that should be enough to grab that 50 uh, he's at 47 now because of that dragon and there are builders huts and there are hero altars which have very very little hit points and he's gonna drop one lightning spell take both of those out so that's 49 percent and all he's got to do is just drop a second lightning spell right there grabbing the 50 and taking the two star from this guy which is pretty again pretty freaking incredible he's just gonna rain down lightning on this guy all of his base and then drop a couple of earthquakes just you know for the shits and also for the giggles and that's gonna be the end of this raid guys that is a town hall 9 legends league player attacking a town hall 11 for five trophies one star so if you guys are looking for a strategy as a town hall 9 a trophy push this this is it. So as you can see, this guy is a complete boss. Here are all his troop levels, if anyone was curious. This is his uh, profile. He's got a 1.2 billion gold grab. This guy is a complete beast on uh, the farming and trophy pushing side of the game. So this dude's dope. And we actually do have another replay by him right here. So let's go peep that. All right. So again, he's going in on a Town Hall 11 on Tekka here. And Tekka is about to get this Pierre D. And uh, Pierre's going to go in from the bottom of the base. There is a giant and a couple of wall breakers along with the king and queen. Going in after this air defense right here, the same strategy I use with dragons. You use the king queen to try to take out at least one air defense. Uh, and then you use your dragons and some hounds to take out the rest of the base. Now, this guy, obviously, he doesn't do the whole hound thing. Um, it's more of a strategical army. Now, unfortunately for him, his heroes did swing around to the right, so he will not grab that air defense out of the way. Uh, but it's okay, because remember, guys, Pierre is a savage. He's a beast, and uh, he does not let that kind of stuff stop him. So he will be able to take out this base. Uh, it is definitely, it's going to be much harder considering there are four air defenses rather than three, because this one did not go down, but he will go on the base. He'll probably drop the lightning spells, actually, on an air defense, but again, I have no idea where the hell he's attacking from. These attacks are really, really quick. Uh, he'll use the heroes in the beginning, and then he'll wait a second, like kind of like you know, strategize his attack, formulate his plan, uh, and then he'll throw in the rest of his troops. He'll put an archer right there. I'm not sure what the archer was for, but it, it went down. I mean, I don't know what it was for, but it was right there. And then he's going to maybe use the dragons. Oh, here's a minion. Okay, he's basically just trying to stack up some percentage. Because uh, he really needs all the percentage he can get right here because his heroes again did not take up the air defense So he really needs to stack up. So here we go. Okay. Yeah, there's the lightning spell guys on everything right here uh, That's actually two lightning spells and an earthquake taking out that one air defense and then he'll put in two Dragons and two balloons actually a couple more balloons on 
the right side in order to stack up as much percentage as he can because remember uh, with the Town Hall 9 attacking, it's a game of percentage. It's not getting to the Town Hall and grabbing the 2-star. It's hopefully squeaking away with the 50% victory. So, uh, here's another 2 Lightning Spells and Earthquake down on this Air Defense. And he will be going in from this left side uh, with another couple of Dragons. Hoping to grab the 50%. And it's going to be a really, really close raid. So, uh, here comes some Balloons. Uh, basically, to help take out those Arch Towers and the defenses. Just to add more numbers to that percentage screen right there. And then the Dragons going in. Uh, only a couple more troops left, guys. This is coming down actually to the wire. Uh, he does have a couple dragons on top. He did drop his clan castle. Dragon and balloons right there. And then his dragons on the bottom. Still alive. Still taking out some buildings. And he will barely get this 50%. That's 49, guys. Where's the 50? Where's the 50? Right here. This dragon right here is going to slide away with that 50%. Almost going to get it. The eagle artillery firing down on it. Oh, God. What? Wait. Where was the 50? The 50 happened, but I don't, I don't know. Oh, what? And on further review of the play, the 50% was grabbed right there by that dragon. Not this one down here. This one whipped my neck. But uh, that was the raid, guys. And Pierre here grabbing a total of, I think, what, seven trophies? Yeah, seven cups for the one star. Another awesome raid by this Town Hall 9 beast. And I wanted to give a big thank you to Pierre for coming over to the clan and sharing those replays. That's all I got for you from him. But yeah, guys, if you guys are looking for a good Town Hall 9 trophy pushing strategy, this is like the best video right now uh, for that. So again, big thank you to Pierre. Make sure to congratulate him down in the comments because Legends League at any Town Hall is insane. At Town Hall 9, that is fucking crazy. So awesome job, Pierre. Uh, and a couple of shoutouts I want to give to clans. Uh, starting off with his clan, actually, Hammers Odino, or Odino. Uh, this is his home clan. I want to give a big shout-out to them. Uh, good job for breeding this monster, Pierre. Also, a big shout-out to the clan Savage Skull, which is like the Town Hall 10-11 version of the Savage Clans. Big shout-out to them. And uh, also Savage 8.9, uh, which is, you know, the very infamous lower Town Hall trophy-pushing clan. And then a huge shout-out to the leader-founder, Harry. Thank you very much for all the lower-level trophy-pushing videos. You're the man. And thank you to these clans for being so kick-ass. And that is going to about wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And for all the Town Hall 9s looking for trophy pushing strategies, I hope this was helpful for you. This is like the video uh, if you want to learn how to trophy push a Town Hall 9. Because look at this guy, man. He's a freaking legend. He's a beast. But yeah, that was today's video. Now let's get to today's comment question of the day. And today's comment question of the day comes from Anthony Ryan. And the question is, when you get a job, will you still be posting videos? Or are you going to make your money on YouTube? Plus, I love UR vids. I love UR vids too, Anthony. But okay, so this is kind of like my plan. Uh, and I kind of just want to like, you know, not a lot of people know that like YouTube is most people's job. Like when a channel gets as big as mine does, uh, it turns into a full-time job. You kind of, you quit your, you know, job at McDonald's or your editing job for a little company and you kind of, you know, pursue YouTube full-time. That's what Molt did. Uh, I'm sure, I think Nick did it too. A lot of guys dropped out of their jobs, quit their jobs and decided to go full on YouTube because YouTube is a job. I'm a senior in high school right now. Um, and I'm putting in over 35 hours a week at least um, on YouTube and business related stuff like it's been really really busy lately and like you know a lot, a lot of people understand uh, one that I do get paid from YouTube this is my job this is what I do as a career uh, and two how much fucking time I put into this not a lot of people really appreciate that they're like oh why you need to upload more oh, your videos aren't good like all that shit and I'm just like dude I'm, I'm this is like a full time job and I'm a senior in high school like I work my ass off uh, in order to get videos out for you guys on YouTube. And now a lot of people uh, are complaining about my upload schedule. They're like, well, you used to do one a day. So why are you doing one every other day? And it's simply because I do not have time to do daily uploads. But don't worry because when I graduate high school um, and I move into my own place and everything, I'm going to start doing not only daily uploads, but two to three times a day. Well, one to three times a day um, uploads. And hopefully I'll be able to expand into other games like Clash Royale, uh, what, Balloon City Battles, a ton of different games. I'm going to try to diversify my channel as much as I can. Well, not as much as I can I'm obviously gonna still stick with clash uh, that'll be my main game but I definitely do want to bring more games more videos uh, just more to my channel like you know what Ov's doing what molt is doing what Nick is doing they're kind of diversifying their channels uh, trying to move away from just clash clans and then expand uh, and get bigger and that's kind of what I'm trying to do that's what I want to do with my channel obviously right now um, I'm doing it with the mystic Mondays videos uh, you know with the clash royale I'm introducing and the call of duty stuff um, that's kind of what I'm doing now to diversify my channel uh, but other than that I'm sticking mainly to clash and I will stay with just clash for another like three to four months um, until I graduate and have time to do more than just you know a two up or one upload every other day um, but I do want to do more uploads than that and I definitely want to do more games on my channel I will start posting clash or not clash clans clash royale content 
um because the game comes out for global next month and trust me the guy guys the game is so fucking fun and ridiculously addicting like i am gonna actually when this recording is over i'm getting on and i'm playing clash royale that's exactly what's happening uh it's a super super fun game and i do recommend downloading it when it comes out for global i will be making more videos for it and when it globally relaunches relaunches when it globally launches um i'll probably be uploading like you know once or twice a week for uh clash royale because it is such a fun game but yeah guys that was today's comment question of the day and today's video if you guys enjoy this video make sure to leave a like subscribe if you have not already and comment down below your comment questions of the day and that's it for today hope you guys enjoyed i will see you in the next one i love you all peace the pretty girls in class still they never reply but never say never they never get caught on my mind i'm trying to get better and grind measure my effort and skill gets better in time fresher than ever and i am who i am no taking it back i'm alive and well